right, what's up guys? I'm out and about driving, uh, writing a new, writing a change right now. So I was cruising on the highway and it was like coming in and out of power enrichment. So I am changing my power enrichment setting and then I'm taking some fuel out because it was riding at like a, an 11.5 uh, when I was on the highway. So uh, it did make a couple torque converter changes. So I want to test that on the highway. I have it coming on earlier. So like <clears throat> I have it locking up earlier. Uh, so while I'm cruising around, I want it to lock up more and see if that takes some of the heat out of the transmission. So this is done writing. Uh, we're going out to the lake. I got the tires in the back. Uh, we had a bunch of snow all over the last couple days, so I don't know if there's going to be anything plowed. But um, I'm going to check it out, and Hunter's probably going to meet me out there. He's bringing his WRX, so maybe we can do something. All right, guys, we're out on the lake again. I'm going to try to block the wind, but Hunter's here. We're gonna try to rip around in this thing. He doesn't have spikes on, but nope. we're gonna we're gonna try to hurt some feelings today. I just want to see how well these things work, if they work at all, and then we're gonna check pressure as we go. All right, so we're gonna put this thing down now. We've got both on the back done, so we'll get down close and see what happens when we put them down. Not a whole lot of action there. Man, look at all those little guys just holding the tire right up. They didn't push through. No, nope, they didn't push through. Oh, holy, wow. holy moly. <laughs> you know, and you gotta think, guys, that this top of this ice isn't really like concrete. It's soft. It's, you know, the screws, I can dig my fingernail into this. So those nails are gonna dig into the ice. That's kind of the idea behind it. All right, guys, so we got the tires all the way on now. Front's on. These are dug in, but there was a lot of concern about these screws being too long but look how much snow is built up in there just from rolling it over here to put it on i feel like if anything they're not long enough <laughs> yeah these might even be short unless you could you know this might be okay because it's pretty much ice but if you get anywhere where there's snow it's just going to pack it full of snow that's how my tires were on my honda whenever i would hit snow it would spin and not hook up and right. then it's ice and it's gone so yeah i don't i don't think these are going to be too long so i'm going to keep in two-wheel drive go for a little spin and then maybe we'll lean on it a little bit all right, so I'm gonna check all the tire pressures first. See, see that one was still at over 40. Basically 43. Yeah. Is that about 42, 43? That one's right at 40. So it looks like they might be losing a little bit. How long, how, how long has it been since you popped them up, though? Uh, it's been about probably 18 hours or more. Yeah. And that one's at 43. So they yeah. were all at 45. One was at 43 when I started. So it's actually not doing too bad. Not bad for a million screws. <laughs> well, and you got to think, too, like, how long are you really going to be out doing it? So if it holds air for a couple hours, yeah, exactly. you're, you're good. Yep. Even eight hours. show there yeah so there's the there's the little tire spin yeah so I got a little clip on my camera here I, I didn't know how to turn his camera on so he did a little flyby quick but we're gonna do another one here uh, in two-wheel drive right yeah I'll do two and then I'll come back and we can try it in four okay all right so Ryan is uh, I kind of lined him up on the glare ice instead of on the snow so here we go. He's gonna give her a little, give her a little berries. <laughs> that fucker hauls ass. <laughs> it hooks up pretty good. I mean, it does spin a little, but not bad. Literally looks like he's making a drag pass when he's going by. Fucking hauling ass. <laughs> we need a drag strip out here so we can have some more room to play. We only got this one road because there's so much snow out on the ice. All right, so I'm done with the two-wheel drive, so I'm gonna lock the hubs and then we'll do some four-wheel drive stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I hit about 75 miles an hour on that first one, and then probably about 70 on the way back. You gained some confidence pretty quick there. Yeah. <laughs> So at first I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. And then uh, after that, I was like, 
fuck it. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? I gotta fire up two cameras here. I feel like an expert photographer. Looked like he was only in two-wheel drive there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try that again. I didn't have the transfer case locked in, so I don't have the shifter set up inside the truck yet. Um, so I had to crawl underneath, and I thought it was in four high, but it wasn't. Uh, so now it's in four high, now I'm gonna try it again. So I'll show you these ruts. So this is all from just the two-wheel drive. You can see the nice little ruts that it dug in. <laughs> these are <laughs> these are about half an inch deep, which makes sense, because that's about how far the screws stick out. So we'll do it again, see if we can get four-wheel drive. Oh, and I'm hitting 10 pounds of boost during that pull. So it's like 170 kPa, so 10, 10 pounds. Well, it looks like the screws, the drywall screws actually dug into one of his intercooler pipes and the truck's not running. Uh, well, it's got a big boost leak, so hopefully it'll uh, still make a little bit of boost to test out this thing in four wheel drive. I gotta walk in my same footsteps here. This is where we've been filming from every time. You can see the truck shimmy. You can see the truck uh, shimmy pretty good when it kicked in. <laughs> wow. I want to see if he'll do like a trans brake uh, launch, you know? <clears throat> that dead hooked. That completely dead hooked. Oh no, my camera's almost dead. That was four-wheel drive. Still making boost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta switch the camera. I'll put my memory card in this and then I'll take you for a ride. Okay. I'm gonna bring it over there. It's okay. a little warm, it's like 225. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll do a tire pressure check after several 10-pound pulls. So we're still at, you know, 44. <laughs> 42. And we'll pull this little guy off. Keep it all in real time here. Oop. Now it's about 40, 43. This gauge is actually bleeding down. There you can see. It's like 43. We'll do a little look see. I'll look at him when I pull him off too, but no broken screws. They didn't explode. It wasn't a you know, projectile vomiting bomb. I did turn too sharp though, and my wheel hit the intercooler coupler, put a hole in my coupler, but it's still making like like 10 pounds of boost. So uh, yeah, that works out pretty slick. But yeah, no issues so far.
So it's 8.17 p.m. right now. So it's about 24 hours since I did the sealing on the rest of these wheels here. You can turn the light on. Uh, so it's about 24 hours since I did uh, the first wheel. And you can see there's still snow on it because I just was out driving this. Look at here. Look at here. There's there's a big wad of snow, and you can see the ground is all wet because I had them in the back of the truck. I brought this stuff home, so I just don't want any you know conspiracy theories going on around this stuff. So the theory was I posted this on Sloppy Mechanics today, and people absolutely had a shit fit. So. Uh, the screws were going to break off and the tires were going to explode and injure people and the screws are going to get in people's tires and I just wanted to show this is what the condition is after I was just out racing so not really racing but I was just ripping around and Hunter was filming so none of the screws are broken <laughs> I mean I can show all of it so I was doing some two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive testing. This is just an old junk set. I mean, they're really not even that bad of a set of tires, which is kind of what you would want because you want to have some tread that's going to absorb the snow if you're driving in snow. But people are saying these screws are too long. They're going to bend. They're going to break. The tire's going to rip. They're going to explode, and people are going to die and all of this other stuff, but you don't see any damage to any of the screws. Earlier in the video, you guys saw that there was like gigantic ruts ripped into the ice because, I mean, look at it. So this is screws, drywall screws, drywall screws. So there was some discrepancies between, you know, drywall screws and stainless screws and whatever. These are the cheapest drywall screws you can find at Menards. They were $11 a box and I went through uh, four boxes. So one box per tire plus like another 300. We had to get another one pound box and that, that's what finished it. So there's about 5,000 screws in each one. Or there's about 5,000 screws in all of them total. And we were just out ripping for over, over an hour. 10 pounds of boost guys. So Ford Ranger, 3,900 pounds with me in it. It's it's higher than that, but we'll say 3,900. And the the screws didn't push in. <laughs> that was like the biggest thing. Oh, those screws are gonna push right into the tire as soon as you put it down. Well, no, that didn't happen. And I was running uh, an LQ4 on a VS Racing 7875 with 10 pounds of boost on these tires and just shredding the ice. Okay, so that's, okay, that's, so that's all over. Now we're home. The snow is melting off of the tires and what I wanna do, I wanna show you guys the tire pressure. So if you watch my last video, the tire pressure was about 45. Three of the tires had 45 PSI. One of the tires had 43 when I ended. Um, so what I want to do now, it is, that's why I showed the time in the beginning, 8.17 p.m. And it is about 24 hours after I sealed the tires and we took it out on the ice today and did what we needed to do. So we did some two-wheel drive pulls, four-wheel drive pulls, I ripped up my intercooler uh, coupler because I turned too far. The screws actually dug into the the coupler and the, the piping and shredded up my piping um, so that the tires are fine the piping is not so we saw I was like at like 10 or 11 pounds and then it was like eight pounds then it was like six pounds because every time I would do a pull uh, it would rip the coupler more and I was turning and ripping it up and uh, yeah, so I gotta get a new coupler, but the tires are fine. And I wanna show you guys the pressure. Let's look at the pressure. All right, so we're gonna go through this. Can you see it? Mm hmm. So at 43 pounds, 44 pounds. 
Okay. So guys, this is 24 hours later. This is 24 hours after I sealed these things. And you can see in the other video, I did this, I did this in the garage by myself. I didn't take this to a shop or it wasn't sealed properly. I've never uh, mounted wheels before in my life. Start at zero. We're at about 42. And earlier in the video, I went through every single one of these tires while they were mounted on the truck. Ugh. Excuse me guys if the video is a little shaky, but I want to do this all in one clip so you know that I'm not trying to edit anything and do anything weird. So we're starting at zero. Look at that. That's at like 44 pounds. Guys, come on. Let's get real here. <coughs> I, these are exceeding my standards even so here's the one and you can probably see verify that I'm not lying here because when I went around before three didn't have a cap this one has a cap it's the same one so go back and check the footage and see where this one was at before it's at 45 pounds right now I mean guys I thought these were going to explode, I thought people were going to die, I thought the I thought the screws were going to get pushed through, I thought the tires were going to explode, none of that happened. So we're talking about drywall screws, none of the screws broke. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, none of them broke, everything is fine, they're not losing pressure. Tires didn't get pushed in. Everything is working properly. And we can go racing again. I just want to say uh, big thanks to Hunter at Hunter Tuned. If you don't know his channel or you're not subscribed, go subscribe. He's the one who did all of this recording for me today. Uh, it was just out of the kindness of his heart. I told him I was going to go out there. He wasn't. I guess wasn't doing anything that day and he just said he was gonna come out and do all the filming for me I thought you know him and I were gonna ride around together or race each other or do something like he was gonna drive his car no he just came out there and said hey I just want to film it so thank you so much Hunter and go check out his channel I really appreciate it you have no idea and thanks for watching have a good one break it till you make it and that's what this is about you figure it out, you break it, you fix it, you, you figure it out and you move on. That's about it.